physical properties of carboxylic acid. Let's take a look at the first one which is uh, boiling point of carboxylic acid. So actually, the boiling point of carboxylic acid is higher than alcohol, ketone or an aldehyde with molecular weight that is almost the same. This is because the carboxylic acid can exist as a stable dimers that form hydrogen bond. This is the stable dimers that form hydrogen bond between two carboxylic acids. Molecule in dimers are arranged closely packed, thus the hydrogen bonds are relatively strong. Therefore, high energy is needed to overcome the intermolecular forces and the boiling point of carboxylic acid is higher. The geometry of the carboxyl group allows the formation of two hydrogen bonds per molecule and it is known to exist predominantly as a dimers. Let's take a look at the first example in which a 1-propanol versus ethanoic acid. So the molar mass for these two compounds are similar which is 60 gram per mole. We know that both 1-propanol and ethanoic acid can form hydrogen bond between its molecule. But the hydrogen bond in ethanoic acid can occur between two molecules of acid and it can produce a dimer. The hydrogen bonded dimer in ethanoic acid are relatively stronger than the hydrogen bonds in 1-propanol. Therefore, the force of attraction in ethanoic acid is stronger and more energy is needed to overcome the force of attraction between ethanoic acid, thus the boiling point of ethanoic acid is higher. So the keyword here is the hydrogen bonded dimer. Next, let's take a look uh, for the next example, uh, propanoic acid versus ethanoic acid. So we know that the propanoic acid has a greater molar mass than ethanoic acid. The van der Waals forces in propanoic acid is also greater. The force of attraction between propanoic acid molecule is stronger. More energy is needed to overcome the force of attraction. Therefore, the boiling point of propanoic acid is greater than ethanoic acid. So actually, when the size of the alkyl group is larger, the boiling point will be higher. Second one, in terms of solubility, it is divided into three different categories. So the first one is the solubility in water. So carboxylic acid are soluble in water due to the formation of hydrogen bond between the water molecules and carboxylic acid molecules. This is the carboxylic acid molecule and this is the molecule of water. So as we can see, they will form hydrogen bond there. So the solubility of carboxylic acid in water almost the same as alcohol, but aliphatic carboxylic acid with carbon more than 5 is insoluble in water because when the size of the R is increasing, the hydrophobic area also will be increasing. Aromatic carboxylic acid are less soluble in water due to huge aromatic ring, yaitu large hydrophobic area. But dicarboxylic acids are relatively more soluble since more hydrogen bonds are formed. The next category is solubility in non-polar solvent. So carboxylic acid are soluble in non-polar solvent such as benzene due to, due to the van der Waals forces between the benzene and the alkyl group of carboxylic acid. So actually the alkyl group will form van der Waals forces between non-polar solvent. Therefore, we can say that the carboxylic acid also is soluble in non-polar solvent. And the last category is solubility in polar solvent. Uh, so carboxylic acid are soluble in polar solvents such as alcohol and ether due to the formation of hydrogen bond with the solvent. So kita punya carboxylic acid dia boleh buat hydrogen bond dengan kita punya polar solvent. Jadi kita boleh cakap carboxylic acid juga soluble dalam polar solvent. 
Next, let's take a look at the acidity of carboxylic acid. So we know that the strength of an acid is determined by the stability of its conjugate base. But the acidity of carboxylic acid is influenced by two things. The first one is resonance effect and then the second one is inductive effect. So resonance effect is the effect of delocalization of electron through pi bond, while inductive effect is the effect of pushing electron density through sigma bond. Now let's take a look at resonance effects. So carboxylic acid are more acidic due to the resonance stabilization of the carboxylate ion. The electrons in carboxylate ion are delocalized between two oxygen atoms. This will cause the carboxylate ions to be more stable. These diagrams show the resonance effect between the two oxygen atoms in carboxylate ion. So we know that the resonance in resonance effect, the negative charge will be equally distributed between the two oxygen atoms. Next, let's take a look at inductive effect. So inductive effect, as I said earlier, is the effect of the shift in electron density from one atom to another through a sigma bond. The substituent groups that attach to the carboxyl carbon will affect the acidity of the carboxylic acid. So we have two substituent groups. The first one is the electron donating groups and the second one is the electron withdrawing groups. The electron donating groups will reduce the acidity while the electron withdrawing groups will increase the acidity. So when the electron donating group is attached to the carboxylate ion, the electron donating group will push the electron density towards the OH bond. While if EW, EWG is attached to the carboxylate ion, the EWG will pull the electron density away from the carboxylate ion. Therefore, EDG will destabilize the carboxylate ion and decrease the acidity. Okay, let's take a look at the effect of EWG. So EWG attached to the carboxylate ion will delocalize the negative charge on the oxygen atom. So the electron density of OH bond will decrease, making the OH bond weaker, easier to break. Thus, the carboxylate ion is stabilized and the H plus easily released. This will make the acidity increases and when the number of EWG increases, the acidity also will increase. So, mari kita tengok contoh ini. Kalau kita lihat di sana, kita ada klorin atom. Okay, klorin atom yang mana klorin ini adalah EWG. So, klorin atom tu dia akan reduce electron density of OH bond sebab dia pull away the electron density. Jadi, OH bonds to become weaker and easily broken and therefore H plus will be released. Jadi, kita punya 2 chloroethanoic acid is more acidic. So, untuk contoh yang seterusnya ini, kalau kita lihat... Di sana dia mengandungi dua klorin, tapi di situ dia ada satu klorin sahaja. So actually, the greater the number of EWG, the more acidic the carboxylic acid. Sebabnya, the OH bond is weaker, jadi itu H plus is more easily released. Itu sebabnya, compound yang di sebelah kiri itu is more acidic than at the right hand side. Next for this one, okay, the position of EWG also will affect the acidity of carboxylic acid. Okay, so the effect of EWG will decrease as the substituent moves further away from the carboxyl. So untuk ini kita punya yang sebelah kiri is more acidic than at the right hand side. And finally, let's talk about EDG. So the presence of EDG, for an example, alkyl, will increase the density of negative charge on the oxygen atom. So the larger the size of EDG, the higher electron density of OH bond, the stronger the bond. 
Jadi kita punya H plus will be difficult to release. Therefore, in terms of acidity, methanoic acid is more acidic than ethanoic acid and more acidic than propanoic acid. So as a conclusion, carboxylic acid are more acidic due to the resonance stabilization of the carboxylate ion. The electrons in carboxylate ion are delocalized between two oxygens, whereas in phenoxide ion, the electrons are delocalized in the benzene ring. The C double bond of group in carboxylic acid is an electron withdrawing group, which reduces the electron density of OH, therefore the OH bonds become weaker. Jadi kita punya H plus is easily donated and therefore carboxylic acid is more acidic than phenol.